Hello my friends and welcome to another mental health story time brought to you by the Children's Book Bank. My name is Jaylin and my pronouns are she, her, and I'm really excited to be here with you right now, although virtually, and read these two books together. So today we're going to be exploring the idea of family. What does it mean to have a family? And what does a family look like? I think you'll see through these books just how diverse and supportive a family can be. And as we read, maybe think about your own family, what you like and appreciate and find similar to any of the characters in the stories. And at the end, we can come together and think about it together. So the first book we have is called A Family is a Family is a Family. And it's written by Sarah O'Leary and illustrated by Chin Lung. And let's just take a moment to look at the cover. So. We see so many kids and they're playing around and they look like they're putting up the letters of the book title. It also looks like there's some adults helping out. So let's see what this book is about. We were talking about families at school. The teacher asked us what we thought made our family special. I went last because I wasn't sure what to say. My family is not like everybody else's. My mom and dad have been best friends since first grade. They really like each other. It's kind of gross. There are lots of kids in our family. Mom and dad just keep coming home with more. See those kids everywhere. They're hiding in all the shelves. Both my moms are terrible singers, and they both like to sing really loud. I have more grandparents than anybody else I know. And if you notice, the illustration makes it look like a family tree, um, except they're actually in a tree. We have a new baby in our house. I think my mom ordered him online. <laughs> See the delivery driver showing up with the baby. We all look alike in my family. We just kind of go together. Oh, she's painting. One week, mom gets me. The next week, dad does. Fair is fair. Some people say I look like my dad, and some people say I look like my mom. I think I look like myself. My mom says that before I was born, I grew in her heart. Because I live with my grandmother, people sometimes think she's my mother. She's not. She's my everything. Some of the kids were dads when he met mom. Some were moms when she met dad. Now we all belong to each other. One of my dads is tall and one is short. They both give good hugs. They're tucking him in to bed. I listen to everybody else and then I remember the time someone saw us all together at the park. She asked my foster mother to point out her real children. Oh, I don't have any imaginary children, mom said. All my children are real. A family is, a family is a family. So that was a really short and sweet book on what it means to have a family. And even as we went through all the different children, you can notice that all their family backgrounds, uh, the people in their families, they were all so different. So simply put, there is no requirement that one needs in order to have a family. 
Like the title says, a family is a family is a family. And the main character was a little shy at first because they thought that their family was different. But like we saw and like all the classmates shared, we realized in the end that all their families are pretty unique in their own way. Maybe just like our own families, right? And for the second book that we're reading today, it's called Heather Has Two Mommies, written by Leslie Newman and illustrated by Laura Cornell. So the title is pretty straightforward. We have an idea of what the book might be about. And we see on the front page of the cover, probably Heather and her two mommies, right? They're probably, uh, they have their dog and their cat as well, walking outside, maybe in the park. So let's see what the story is about. And I think Heather is probably drawing her family. Heather lives in a little house with a big apple tree in the front yard and lots of tall grass in the backyard. Heather's favorite number is two. She has two arms, two legs, two eyes, two ears, two hands, and two feet. Heather has two pets, a ginger-colored cat named Ginger Snap and a big black dog named Midnight. Heather also has two mommies, Mama Jane and Mama Kate. Mama Kate is a doctor. She has two stethoscopes, so she and Heather can listen to each other's heartbeats. Mama Jane is a carpenter. She has two hammers, so she and Heather can build things together. Heather and her mommies have lots of fun together. On sunny days, they go to the park. And you see the dog looking around in the picnic basket for food. On rainy days, they stay inside and bake cookies. Heather likes to eat two ginger snaps and drink a big glass of milk. One day, Mama Kate and Mama Jane tell Heather that they have a surprise for her. You're going to start school next week, Mama Kate says. There will be lots of other kids to play with and a teacher named Miss Molly, adds Mama Jane. Can Midnight and Ginger Snap come too? Asks Heather. No, they have to stay home, Mama Jane says. But you can bring two special things with you, says Mama Kate. Heather chooses her favorite blue blanket to rest with at nap time and her favorite red cup to drink out of at snack time. Soon the big day arrives and Mama Kate and Mama Jane take Heather to her new school. And all the parents are dropping their kids off. There are so many things to play with. Heather sees building blocks, dress up clothes, crayons, and paints. Heather also sees a big round table for snack time and a quiet cozy corner for nap time. While Mama Jane and Mama Kate talk to Miss Molly, Heather puts two puzzles together all by herself. Soon it's time for Mama Jane and Mama Kate to leave. They kiss Heather goodbye and Heather cries, but only a little. She's waving goodbye. Heather has lots of fun at her new school. She builds a tower out of building blocks and dresses up like a firefighter. She drinks apple juice out of her favorite red cup at snack time and rests in the quiet corner with her favorite blue blanket at nap time. After nap time, all the children sit in a circle while Miss Molly reads them a story about a boy whose father is a veterinarian. Who knows what a veterinarian is? asks Miss Molly. I do. My mommy is a veterinarian, Juan says. A veterinarian is an animal doctor. My daddy is a people doctor, shouts David. My mommy is a people doctor too, Heather shouts even louder. What does your daddy do? David asks Heather. I don't have a daddy, Heather says. She looks around the circle and wonders. Am I the only one here who doesn't have a daddy? I have an idea, Miss Molly says. Let's all draw pictures of our families. 
Juan draws his mommy, daddy, and big brother, Carlos. Miriam draws her mommy and her sister, Rachel, playing in the park. Stacy draws her daddy and her papa reading her stories. Joshua hangs up the picture he drew of his mommy and stepfather dropping him off at his daddy's house. Emily tapes up the picture she drew of her grandma and their two puppies, Emmett and Charlie. David straightens out the picture he drew of the day his mommy and daddy brought his new sister, Veronica, home. Miss Molly looks at all the pictures. It doesn't matter how many mommies or how many daddies your family has, Miss Molly says. It doesn't matter if your family has sisters or brothers or cousins or grandmas or grandpas or uncles or aunts. Each family is special. The most important thing about a family is that all the people in it love each other. Soon Heather's first day of school is over. When Mama Kate and Mama Jane arrive to pick her up, Heather shows them all the pictures. Is that me? Mama Kate asks, pointing to Heather's picture. And is that me? Mama Jane asks, pointing to. This is the mommy I love the best, Heather says, pointing to her picture. And this is the mommy I love the best. Heather says, pointing again. Mama Kate and Mama Jane both laugh as Heather gives each of them two kisses. Then she takes their hands and they all head home. So that was the second story and it was really sweet. Um, and unlike the first story where we looked at all these different families, this story focused more on Heather and her family. And the teacher in the book said it best. Each family might look different, but they're all special in their own way. And at the end of the day, it only matters if you love and support each other. And so to other people that we might meet, let's all be understanding that families can look different. So that's it for this week's mental health story time. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a lovely week.